Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with my public build Lego mock from the July 25th Saturday stream that was hosted on Big Beast channel here on YouTube. So this month, or this week, the public build challenge was hashtag mystery. I'd never actually participated in the public build challenge before, but this one sounded really good and I decided that I wanted to take part. So, the restrictions for this mock were it had to be on a 16x16 build area and it must use one 2x4 lime brick and one 2x4 orange brick. The keyword was mystery and one third of the points were based upon the monthly seam, which was selling. Let's start right off into the mock, but first you need to know the backstory and what happened. So here, this is my character, BrickLover18, and my dog, Scooby Custom Do. So what happened here in Police Plaza, the name of my Lego city, there was a robbery. There was a robbery at the Lego store. What happened is one criminal broke in and stole a bunch of Lego. There's only one piece that the Lego store wants back. And as a reward, the person who finds the treasure gets to keep all the rest of the Lego to sell on their Bricklink store. The money and the Lego that was stolen from the Lego store is suspected to be in an underground sewer system from Police Plaza. The problem is, it's not just the matter of going down to get it, is there's a trap set by one, the person who robbed it, that makes it so you cannot just go down and get it. So the only way to claim the reward is to find out who did it and to not get killed in the process. So, right now there are three suspects. Suspect number one is police officer Jane. She was the only police officer on duty at the time and suddenly her radio stopped working as the call came in about the robbery and she didn't show up to catch the criminal in the act. The next suspect is Joe. He's a suspect because his greasy fingerprints are all over where the money and the Lego is suspected to be have hidden and as you can see he has a lot of food. And finally the last suspect is Ralph. Nobody really knows why Ralph's a suspect, he just is. Only one of them committed the crime and certainly one of these three suspects actually did it. I'm not gonna throw a curveball. So here we are in one of the main streets in Police Plaza as you can see or it's not actually Police Plaza but we are in a park because there's all this like foliage and leaves and bushes and stuff like that. But wait, what's that? It's a old sewer drain door. So what we gotta do is just gotta move the leaf out of the way and open it up. And there's the door. Now it's time to go down the passageway into the sewer system to claim the reward. We are in the first secrets passageway and as you can see, there's a couple clues on the way to the next passageway. There's a barrel of green stuff there and some food and some money. Could it be the Lego store's money? Right now I'm just doing a little dusting for fingerprints to see if I can find any fingerprints on this, whatever it is. I just came around the other passageway and it appears there's a ladder down into the sewer system. I just climbed down the ladder and I came into a room and there's two 2x4 two bricks there, one in orange and one in green, as well as a whole wall full of blue and green to represent bricklink colors. Another clue perhaps? Oh no, what 2x4 bricks should I choose? Should I choose the orange one or should I choose the green one? This is where you decide. Check the cards. There's an orange video and a green video. Whatever brick you think you would choose, click on that video and watch the outcome. But you'll have to come back to this video here to see how the mystery ends, to see who did it, and then to see the full mock. Now that we've seen the outcome that you would choose to know if you lived or died, Brick, he knows what he's going to choose. Scooby, what should I choose? I think you should choose the green one. Okay, that's the one I'll choose. Oh, is that a secret passageway? Look at Scooby, it is a secret passageway. Whoa, look Scooby, we found the money. As well as all those boxes of Lego. Here's the golden dragon, the piece that the Lego store wanted back. So that means everything else in here is mine and I get to sell it on my Bricklink store. Woohoo! Look at all this money and look, there's another clue to who did it. Now we have to know who did it. Who stole the money and who hid it down here? Who was it? Was it Ralph? 
Was it Joe or was it Jane? First, I'm going to eliminate Ralph. The reason it's not Ralph is because yes, we found his hand in the mob, but the only reason we found it was because he actually lost it trying to get the reward. He didn't do anything wrong. He is no longer a suspect. Now the two suspects left are Joe and Jane. Could it be Jane who left her post during the night and nobody knew where she was? Or could it be Joe because his fingerprints are all over the sewer system? And the criminal was Jane. We know it was Jane because we found her handcuffs down where the Lego was hidden. The only person that knew how to get in there was Jane and that's why her handcuffs were there. Jane is now going to jail for stealing the Lego and going to keep it for herself. I hope you enjoyed that little skit that I did and I wonder if you got it right. And then here, here's just the mock. I think I'll do a 360 of it. As you can see, it's only on a 16 by 16 plate, but I made it into multiple different sections just to help keep telling the story. It's not the most attractive mock out there, but I honestly thought that the story was what really mattered for this case, and I just wanted it to make the best story possible. As you can see, here's the top of the mock. This is actually a stud not on top use because the door is going down into like to the sewer system here. And there's lots of like leaves and stuff to block it off, keep it hidden. Here's a set of old stairs going into the first passageway here. Right here, I've actually included some money on the ground just to show that yes, the money and the Lego was transported through here. Next to here is another like passageway. This is another important passageway. Here was a clue to let you know that you're supposed to choose the green bucket or the green cup brick. And then up here it was a bunch of food from Greasy Joe, showing that he had also been here. When you come down the passageway here, you're into the Bricklink room. And this is the Bricklink room because as I mentioned, it is made from all the Bricklink colors. Except for the orange and the green bricks, of course. And here you had the choice, do you choose the orange or do you choose the green? As you saw in the video, Brick chose the green, but if you did watch this video, you know what happened with the green, so now you need to know what happened with the orange. When one hits the orange button, oh look at that, they fall into a hidden part in the floor. And as you can see, where they fall is a lava infested bone pit. But when they're lucky enough and they select the green, they open up a secret passageway, and from that really small secret passageway, it brings you into the room where all the Lego was hidden. And as I mentioned, the thing that really gave Jane away was the fact that she left her handcuffs here. I'm pretty happy with how the mock turned out. I really like it. And don't forget to let me know down in the comments below how you thought I did on this mock. Thank you so much for watching this BrickLover18 YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up, comment on this video, as well as share the video with your friends. If you want to see more of my previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there featuring all the videos that I've uploaded so far. If you want to see more of my LEGO YouTube videos as I upload them, please click on the subscribe brick and you will subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to check out more BrickLover18 and LEGO related awesomeness, please check out www.bricklover18.com where you'll find the links to my YouTube, my Instagram, my Twitter, as well as my BrickLink store. Thanks for watching this BrickLover18 video. Stay tuned for all things LEGO by clicking that subscribe button.